My name is Claire, and I am a sophomore studying computer science in the College of LSA. Um, and as Dr. Wood said, I spent the summer in Dublin uh, at the University College of Dublin. Um, and I guess sort of to start off, I'll say why I chose to do um, a STEM program in the first place. Because as a freshman last year, I was like, I don't have enough experience. <coughs> and it's hard to find opportunities when you really don't know much, um, and no one really wants you know, somebody's like, I can type, like, a little printout statement in computer science. They're like, um, okay. <laughs> um, but in some ways, I was really excited to find this program because it's a very quality opportunity to have at such a young age, too, and I didn't think I was going to get in. Um, but in some ways, it was actually very exciting because it was sort of everything I wanted. I, I had the same sort of fear with computer science, I was like, how am I going to be able to fit in a study abroad? And it's not that it's not impossible, but there's so many opportunities at Michigan I wanted to take advantage of too. But I did actually, like, very, I valued an international experience, and I knew that it was something that I wanted to pursue. Um, so I was really excited when I found something that kind of combined everything I wanted. It was a great summer experience so that I, you know, could get real kind of career knowledge. Um, and I got to go abroad, and in the same way I was also getting credit for doing it, which helps when you're trying to fit in more classes and you feel like you don't have time. It even helps solve that problem. Um, and then as an additional fun factor, I was really excited when I found out that computer science was being offered in Dublin, because I'm an Irish citizen and I had never been. Um, so it was kind of, it was like, too perfect. Um, and then I also spent my summer doing a very interesting project, studying beer. And I promise it was a lot more academic than it sounds. <laughs> um, so essentially what my project was, was making a front-end interface for a beer recommendation and explanation system. And so what that kind of means in broad terms is that we take users' reviews, uh, reviews for certain beers and we kind of analyze the data to make recommendations for them. And once we make those recommendations, what they're working on is generating explanations for the recommendations to kind of increase the clarity and the trustworthiness of the recommendations you're giving people. So, But basically when I arrived, the researchers I was working with at the University College of Dublin had already made this algorithm. It already existed, but they had only done it with hotels and restaurants. And so beer was kind of a new thing for them. They would already implemented it, but all their data was just in numbers. And so they couldn't really put it in front of users. They couldn't test if it was actually helping people. Um, like make better decisions and kind of increase the clarity of the recommendations they were giving because they couldn't see it. So my job was to make sort of a interface so that you could see the numbers in real life and kind of see if beer actually works with this algorithm because it's kind of a different thing and there's different qualities for beer that make it different than hotels or restaurants. Um, and the work that I did actually kind of will help them in the future put it in front of live users, make sure that they're actually giving quality recommendations, maybe put it in an, not an offline setting, but bring it to an online setting where they can say, like, let's put in real users, make sure that they give actual reviews, and then make sure that the recommendations they're getting work. So it, it, it was only eight weeks, which doesn't seem like a lot of time, and for me, I was coming in with zero web development experience. I hadn't ever worked in the languages that I was using, so in eight weeks I learned three new languages, kind of immersed myself into the world of recommendations, which did, took a lot of research time. Um, but I don't think I couldn't, have, I couldn't have done it without the people that I was working with. So the professor I was working with was amazing. He gave me one-on-one -on -one time almost every day, and he treated me like any of his other PhD students, even though I was maybe five or six years younger than most of them. And the PhD students that were also in the lab were so amazing too, and they were from all over the world. And so every day we'd take a two hour lunch, everyone would take a two hour lunch, and we would just spend the two hours talking about everything there is. So it's culture and politics and computer science. And it was incredible just to hear all the things that they were doing with their lives and their research. And it was kind of an eye-opening thing. And I think in addition, being able to live with other STEM students, no one else was doing computer science, but in some ways it didn't matter because we were all had the same sort of drive and passion for the work we were doing. And we were all really excited to be there and be in this sort of professional environment. Um, but then 
we still had time. So it's the same thing with it being a full-time job. It's nine to five every day, and you think, oh, how am I ever gonna have time to do anything else? But your day ends at five. So we had the evenings and we had the weekends, and Arcadia was really great at coordinating amazing kind of excursions and um, like night events for us so that we always had something to be doing. I got to go to Galway, Cork, Belfast. I spent a weekend in Scotland, a weekend in London, and then I still got to travel more of Ireland after the program ended. So it was, packed it all in and it was an incredible experience and I don't think that I would have been able to have it anywhere else. Um, so I think in some ways people say like, oh computer science, like I don't know where you're gonna be able to do that. Like, you know, I'm from California and you think the best place to be doing computer science is in the heart of Silicon Valley and you're like, that's where you should be. But in some ways, I think being able to get a global perspective of computer science and how it's different, because they do computer science differently there, and kind of their expectations and being able to work in a research setting, because their research is different than maybe the research I'd be doing here. But it was an incredible experience, and I don't think I would have been able to do it anywhere else.